Hello, Dr. Heyer from Holistic Health and Chiropractic of Frankfurt. Hey, do you know how your guts work? The guts actually work like a screen on a window. The purpose of a screen on the window is to do what? To let fresh air into the house, which is what we want, and keep bugs and flies and spiders and things outside and keep them from getting in. The guts are supposed to allow good things into our body, like nutrients, and keep bad things from getting into our system. But what would happen if I took a screwdriver or a pencil and I punched a hole in the screen? Well, one little hole probably wouldn't make a whole big difference, but if I did it 10 times or 50 or 100 times, eventually that screen would have some really big gaping holes that spiders and mosquitoes and flies can get through, right? Same thing with our guts and our digestive system. Many times we're doing things that are opening up the permeability or punching holes through our intestines and letting things get into our body that shouldn't. We actually have a term for this. It's called leaky gut or intestinal permeability. It's hard to say. And the thing is that leaky gut is actually linked to many other health issues via other organs. It's linked to the brain. A lot of times we may see people with memory issues or ADHD issues or even Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. It's linked to our sinuses on our mouth when people have chronic sinus issues or chronic sinus infections. There's also a link to our joints. And as a chiropractor, I see a lot of people with osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis and inflammation and inflammatory conditions of the joint that lead back to a leaky gut. It actually connects to the adrenals, which are little energy batteries of the body. And a lot of times people are tired, they're fatigued, other than pain, Fatigue is like the second most common complaint we see in the office. There's even a link to the thyroid. So people who have maybe hypothyroidism or an autoimmune issue like Graves or Hashimoto's, many times there's a direct link back to the gut. And then of course the rest of the colon. You could have things like diarrhea or um, constipation or IBS or IBD, things like that. And it links back to a leaky gut. So if you're experiencing any of those things we just talked about, or maybe you have a health issue that's just chronic and unrelenting and you're just not getting answers to your questions from other sources, click the link below. That'll take you to our digestive webpage where you can learn more about your guts, more about your health, and how those things relate. Thanks. Have a great day.